Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a, another recipe and it's a, a favorite here in my household so I thought I'd share it with you as well. Today I'll be making a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. So if you like carrot cakes, please keep on watching. So what I'll do is I'll include the recipe down below if you're interested. But I will tell you the ingredients and the quantity along the way. So first of all, I'm going to start off with three cups of all-purpose flour. And this is the third one. You'll need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One and a half. One teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. One, two. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And you're going to stir all these dry ingredients together. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to add four eggs. I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of brown sugar. Mine is a little lumpy, but that's okay. I'll be able to mix it all together and make it nice and smooth. Quarter cup. And what you hear beeping in the background, that is my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Now I'm going to add one cup of canola oil. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm going to blend these all together. Start off with a low speed. Okay, everything looks nice and smooth. Okay, so off camera I grated three and a half cups of carrots, so grated carrots. So I've added them to the bowl, to the um, egg, brown sugar, oil, and vanilla mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix them by hand just to incorporate the ingredients. Okay, so it does look a bit watery, but remember we don't have any dry ingredients here. We're going to add this to our bowl of flour, all the dry ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and get that bowl. So here's our bowl of the dry ingredients that we mixed at the beginning. I'm just going to create a little well here in the flour. I'm going to add our mixture with the carrots. And we're also going to add a cup of walnuts or pecans. So I'm going to mix that. Just mix until everything's nicely combined. I'm just going to go ahead and mix that until that's nicely blended. Scraping the sides. And you can see it's taking on a much thicker consistency, which is what we want for a carrot cake. Removing the flour from all the sides, making sure it's well incorporated into our batter. And I'm going to grease a 9 inch baking pan. So here it is. I've put it in my greased 9 inch baking pan. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the oven. Again, it's a preheated oven at 350. And I'm going to bake that for about, oh, I'd say 25 to 30 minutes. 
or I'll test it with a toothpick to, to see if the toothpick comes out clean. And you can also do this in two cake pens so you can put the icing in the middle. Um, I'm not going to do that this time around. I am going to make icing, but I'm just going to put it over the cake. So let's put this in the oven and we'll check in on it in about 20 25 minutes. So this is at the 25 minute mark, and without even sticking a toothpick, I can tell you it's nowhere near being ready. You can see it's still very wet and moist at the top. So we're going to, to leave it and check on it in a little bit. In the meantime, I'll start making the icing. For the icing, you will need about 168 grams of white chocolate. I'm just using the Chip It's white chocolate. So this is about 225 grams, so I just guesstimated. So that's about 168, so you want to melt that. There's still this much left or so. So I'm going to go ahead and melt this white chocolate. So as you can see, the white chocolate is nicely melted. Very smooth and creamy, so I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit. In the meantime, in my bowl, I've added two packages of cream cheese, and I just simply use the Philadelphia cream cheese. So I use two bars. And I've also added three quarter cups of butter. Make sure it's room temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend the cream cheese and the butter using my electric mixer until it's nicely blended and creamed. Okay, so that's all done. I'm just going to refrigerate this just for a little bit while we wait for the cake and you know what we need to try it yes this is delicious okay so let's have a look at the cake okay so much more improvement since the last time so let's do the toothpick test and it's nice and clean so I think we're ready okay so here it is I've taken it out of the oven and I've let it cool for about half an hour so it is cool to it's a little bit warm still but it is the pan itself is cool to the touch so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the plate and I'll do this while I'm filming so wish me luck hopefully it comes out easily and it doesn't stick so what I usually do is just put the plate over the pan flip it over give it a few taps Should easily. There we go. Nice. Very nice. So I'm just going to flip it once over again. And we'll just have that sit over there. And normally, I mean, if this was like a birthday cake, I would probably just even out the top and cut out because it is a little bit higher. But this is just for our Sunday night dessert, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. There's no need to make it extra pretty. I'm gonna take the icing out of the fridge. So here we go. Here's the icing. And I'm just going to start spreading it off. And there you have it. There is the carrot cake with cream cheese and chocolate icing. And the icing, let me tell you guys, it is to die for, so I can't wait to dig into the cake. Again, just a rough icing job, but that's all we need for Sunday night dinner. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you've made this cake or if you have some other great carrot cake recipes. This one was super easy and super delicious. Bye for now.